What's up, folks? It's the best Dan Wallace here. We are here with an episode of Going Superhuman. Uh, we're in my dojo. What we're going to do today is we're going to work on tricking. One of my goals for my Going Superhuman project is to improve my tricking skills. I've got lots of parkour experience, like strict parkour stuff, like vaults, uh, ascents, cat hangs, kickoffs, all this stuff. I can do all that, but the tricking aspect has always eluded me. I've never really focused on it that much, and uh, it's always been a little intimidating to me. Now, it was weird because I did gymnastics when I was younger, but I didn't get to the point where we were flipping around like crazy when I was younger. So uh, there's a bit of a mental block there. So what we're going to work on today is legit. I'm just going to throw some mats down the floor, and I'm going to try some front tucks, and I might try some back tucks as well. And I'm just freaking going for it and hoping I don't die. So we'll see what happens. By the way, if you are an experienced trickster, you have experience doing any kind of flips or anything like that, like what I'm attempting today, and if you see that I'm doing stuff that's wrong, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love your feedback as I begin my journey to becoming a better trickster versus just a better um, tracer. So let me know down in the comments below if you see something that I'm doing wrong. In the meantime, enjoy me throwing myself to the ground repeatedly. sitting now instead of landing on my back. I feel like I'm rotating but I'm either doing it too late or I'm not getting enough height before I start to rotate or something like that. So. Ooh. You know, on one hand, the back tuck is easier in a way because I know I've completed full rotations like jumping off of docks and stuff like that into water. But on the other hand, like, even though conceptually I know I'm going to make it at least halfway around, it's difficult to put myself in the mindset of I'm just going to jump and throw my head back and hope that it doesn't land on the ground first. So let's hope it doesn't land on the ground first. Almost. Wasn't that bad? 
Um, even though it might have looked like I landed on my head, I got my hands there in time. It's 100% a mental game. Like, I know I can do this, but you get halfway through and you're like, Aah! so whatever. That's enough flip training for today. I'm going to go back, I want to see the footage, I'm going to go back, when I, when I edit this together, I'm going to throw in some slow-mo and stuff like that too, because I want to see myself in slow motion, because it's easier to spot flaws in slow motion on like a big screen, rather than trying to view it at full speed on like my little GoPro preview screen there. So, whew, that was fun. <laughs> um, a little rattled up, but feeling pretty good. That was a good time. Step one.